Yeah, hello and welcome to this video. This is just a short one, roughly 30 minutes. I don't have more time, but um, I also want to again get some feedback on the audio setup. This is um, again a little bit of a change setup. The audio was better last time, but I decided to try something else again using my old microphone. And um, I gave a test recording to people who liked it a lot. So we'll see what happens. In the meantime, I got a reversed Benoni here against Bravado Chess. This is not a usual opening for me. I'm not a real fan of the Benoni, but um, if you play what I played, a Retty style opening, you sometimes get there. And there are versions of this uh, Benoni that are not so bad. I think this is one of them. We'll see what happens. I was happy to play knight e5 to trade off one minor piece. In general, in the Benoni, this is an interesting moment because I could go to b5. The kind of thing that could backfire badly. Um, in the Benoni, you want to trade pieces and um, minor pieces, that is. And um, the trade on e5 was one of those trades. That is an interesting move. He tries to maybe trap my rook even. Yeah, bishop d7 coming up. Yeah, that's definitely a thing. Yeah, maybe this rook maneuver was not the best of ideas, but we'll see. Knight e4, mm, he has to go queen e7 and I could trade, but then the rook would have a really strange way all the way over. Yeah, I don't really see much else. Queen takes, and now what? Rook b3, there's bishop a4. Yeah, that only leaves this <laughs> odd square. But this might not be so bad, actually. I'm not entirely sure. The rook is a little bit strangely placed, but it's not clear that it is so terrible. Probably here. B4 might even be some kind of a threat. Okay. Yeah, this is an interesting, interesting move. Yeah, I don't want to take, that's not really so great. My rook here is such a strange piece. Let's go here, b takes, rook takes, at least d4 is hanging twice, using, <laughs> using both rooks in this case. We'll see if he um, actually wants to take, but he has to do something. I'm, um, yeah, this is also one of those moves that does something, preventing c5. Yeah, I'm not so happy here, but this could be interesting. Both attacking a5 and threatening queen h6. Maybe interesting. I still have one minute 10. Yeah, 
Yeah, taking taking a5, he will take on c4. Not sure about this, but maybe this one. One idea that also you need to have on the radar is rook takes h5 in some cases, which could be a draw. Okay. Yeah, probably this one. It's probably quite a drawish position. Which is kind of reasonable given that I was never better. Maybe he can actually do something here based on the pin. Mm, something like that is somewhat somewhat of an annoyance. So I probably have to do this. Prepare king f2. My c pawn is not an asset. He can always play rook c1 and simply stop any possible activity. Um, okay, rook here maybe. Entirely sure what the bishop is up to. Going to b3 or yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I expect him to go to f6 and uh, going back cannot be a solution. Okay, interesting. So he is basically just accepting to be um, somewhat, somewhat worse. It is of course nothing uh, serious, but still um. I didn't expect it to go like that. Just nothing going on. I have the slightly better pawn structure, but you just don't win a position like that. I cannot at all get the king to activity. And now the rook at least has a good square. <clears throat> Looking at h5 and attacking g3 at the same time. That could be um, helpful. Now, um, if I go rook e7, he's going to doesn't help at all. Yeah. The F pawn is somewhat is fast, but oh, yeah, it's very fast. But is it winning? I think I, I think it is, huh? Just about. Rook e8 coming. Uh, 
I wanted to go to g5, but it doesn't matter really. Yeah, it was a bit odd. I should not, not really win this, but um, okay. So um, maybe just a quick look again. Um, I'm a little bit under time constraints. So here um, the computer is, has a position as uh, somewhat, uh, somewhat like equal. And uh, I would be surprised if it wasn't like that for quite a while. Okay, here e5 is very strong for black. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Cover d4, win b4. Ooh. And this is probably not so great in comparison. But still, of course, um, a draw is very, very uh, likely. I was surprised that he actually went into this because it's it might be a draw, but the game still continues for quite a while. And this is also um, a draw. Probably only later he spots it. I'm just clicking through this quite quickly. Oh, e5, king e7, oh, rook a3. This is losing. He has to go rook f3. Okay because now I'm not actually making progress. This is a very tough move to play. It looks so awful to step into the check, but it doesn't help because here now my pawn is stopped and only here he is indeed losing. No chance whatsoever. Okay, so next game, let's see what we get. Uh, three plus two against one player two. It's a little bit dark it's taking a good amount of time in this very early position Bishop d6 is a bit odd because now you have to enter this ending, which is pretty terrible. Yeah, you can argue about the phrasing. Terrible. It's just not good for black because you lose a ton of time and uh, you have absolutely no compensation for that. The bishop is just not in a good spot on c7. And um, yeah, should be rather problematic for black this whole thing. So let's take. Book a6 already is a thing. Um, the question is if I should do it now or, or wait. It's always a tough one. Yeah, I think I can do it now. I mean, I can definitely do it now, but I mean, is it the right timing to play the move? So I'm winning this tempo, basically, and now have to improve on this um, But I found rook a6. Okay, so not easy to play. I just want to double against the a pawn. That's my idea. No, that that's weird. What are you doing on h5? 
Knight e2, rook a1. Knight h5 is just not a good move. I mean, e3 is part of my setup anyway, so he's just misplacing the piece, or, or the idea is totally beyond me. Uh, I don't... I don't know. Yes, he can take b3, but I can take a7, and that is... Uh, a very good type of trade. Yeah, or this one, that doesn't matter. Now rook a6. And um, rook b1, yeah. Utilizing this pin. Ooh. <laughs> it's always scary. They play a move that you did not at all consider. Wow, it's not so easy. I mean, it, I should be quite a bit better, but still, it's not super obvious. Oh, how do you get there? Knight to be six, maybe. Not sure what he's trying to tell me. So he has a check here. But I can also just take c6. Then bishop a4 is what he wants to do. So I'm simply stepping out of the check. Now black resigns, I guess. Yeah, okay, this is a move, but you are simply not going to hold this position. So do I just take or rook a7 is also fairly strong. Yeah, this is stronger. Now, how do we play? It's probably a good idea to <clears throat> to keep e4 and g4 covered and to then enter with the bishop. I'm not sure, maybe I should have just traded rooks. It could have been, maybe that was even easier. Not the probably objectively strongest way to play, but maybe the easiest way to play. This is um, this is still not totally totally simple. Yeah, I don't want to do that. No, I did not play this well. the message all about <laughs> I have no idea what he wrote during the play am I doing a bit well mr. teacher I'm not sure if this is just yeah tough to say um, yeah so I think the position here looks pretty good for white but the conversion is um, this is uh, this is very bad a knight h5 is clearly a bad move because you're forcing a move with black that white will play no matter what. And um, this is just not at all 
Oh, good. I definitely did not play in the best possible way. Look, A7 already was a bit better, but I doubt that I ever let it totally slip. King E1, Knight C6, Knight D7. Bishop F1 here was a complete win. <laughs> okay, simply preparing to put something on b5. That's very, very convincing. Here I should just trade rooks, keep it simple. But I think the position is always winning. It's just too much. C pawn is too much of an advantage. Yeah, I just have a new queen. Okay, so let's see one more game, maybe. Maybe two. Let's see how quick this one is. And then we can reconsider. It takes a bit of time, even though it's on Saturday evening. DJS has 82,000 players on. 82,000. That's an awful lot. Still, if you think about it, you know, it's Saturday evening and um, large parts of the world stay at home at only 80,000. Why not 800,000? Okay, um, let's play guess who's back. I have no clue. Yeah, main line, Rosolimo. A4 should almost always be answered with A5. Not going to reinvent the wheel, just do it. Hmm. So B2 is hanging, yeah, and he does not care. Yeah doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so if I take now rook b1, bishop g7, knight c4, yeah, claiming that this is too much, too quick. You can probably claim that. Um, a move that you always have to check here is the move b4, which completely uh, busts open the queen side. Often you should play rook b8 to be prepared for that. Uh, this is very slow. It's very slow. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I called it, yeah, but you still. Okay. I can take on C4 first. Knight takes. Sometimes you can play b5. Mm, not here though. Tja. Yeah, I mean, I said that this is going to happen, but 
you still hope it uh, it is not that terrible but it is pretty terrible This is always annoying. You actually know what's going to happen and you're still not preventing it. You can also not give the exchange, unfortunately. Yeah, I kind of relied on finding something, <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just as bad as I expected uh, or feared it would be. Instead of knight f6, I can simply play a prophylactic move and probably should be okay. A little bit surprised that he actually takes time there. It's not over, yeah. I mean, the position is very bad for black, but it's not yet uh, a complete loss. At least not um, in a typical human player game. Oh, ouch. I managed to castle. This is a huge accomplishment. Maybe just rook f1, rook a to f1. Yeah, I just go back then, I guess. Idea queen c7. The a pawn is uh, not really a huge asset for him. I'm not sure that f4 was um, an ideal solution. Rook a f1 maybe. I go rook f8. I only got 10 seconds though. That uh, will almost certainly be a huge factor. Queen a7 check also. Let's do this. Grab this pawn, and it's all of a sudden equal material. Who would have thought? Rook d2 is my idea. Yeah, that looks okay, really. He has to go rook d4. Okay. What is the idea? I don't get this move at all. This is increment, so I have all the time to try to figure out a way forward. Probably isn't one, but I can still try. It's 
there any point in doing this? Probably not, but Mm, have to do it. Yeah, okay, it's a draw, but given how the game went, I'm definitely going to try. Okay. is a possible somewhat possible way to do stuff mm. really is no good way I know I'm just moving around. I just, um, while moving around, tried to figure out if there is some way to do stuff. Okay. Just going f5 is, uh, of course, extremely drawish, but anyway, it's, it's what it is. The g pawn, he can even go for passive defense. Um, not really making any sense what's the clock saying okay you cannot do anything I mean absolutely nothing yeah hmm. he should probably win the game of course in the opening if we if we check this briefly again I mean I was perfectly aware of the motif but I didn't stop it <laughs> yeah Engine wants to go knight e7, which is maybe a better choice. After that, uh, ah, okay, so b5 is in fact possible. I was not aware of that. A takes, c takes, c takes, knight a5, and then this one. Yeah, this is okay for sure. Okay. So I, I can indeed play this, but I have to react correctly. I took and did this, and after a5, I'm in, in, in bad shape. It doesn't seem to be lost straight away, but it's very close. Yeah. Oh, I can take on b4 with the check. Oh my god. Did not see that at all. Ugh. Oh my god. And at the end, and again, c5 wins, or what? No. Did I have a win? <laughs> no, I was just an engine, weird engine behavior. Hmm, very strange. Yeah, so at the end, it was a draw. In the ending, you cannot do all that much. Please let me know um, about the sound quality. would be good to know if this is a sustainable setup or not. Thanks a lot for watching.